Hey guys, Lego Six Master here, and I'm gonna be doing a review on the one of the new Lego SpongeBob sets. Um, it's ages six to twelve. Set number three eight one seven. The Flying Dutchman and two hundred forty one pieces. Three figures. So yeah. Um, here are the extra pieces you get. They included an extra cutlass, which I think might be Patrick's. I'm not quite sure. So. Here's the instruction manual. Um, there is um, 68 pages and sets of building there is 34. So, yeah. I'm only gonna get this SpongeBob set because I really like it. So. First figure is the Flying Dutchman. Um, I like that they used the Davy Jones hat, like from the um, uh, the Black Pearl and Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, his nice green face. Um, now here's something I don't really like that what Lego did. They printed on the beard without actually giving him like a little neck piece to put on beard so yeah that's the only downside I have with this figure so otherwise he's a great figure he gets a green little like genie lag thingy uh, a sand green satchel and in this light that those might be yellow heads but let me compare to Spongebob's yeah though those are actual yellow heads these are green so yeah um he comes with a cutlass, and I'm going to show you the printing on this hat, so. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it. He's my favorite figure, and I think he makes this set worth getting. 30 bucks at Toys R Us. So, yeah. Uh, here's Spongebob, pirate version. You get his cutlass, uh, little blue legs. Um, this hat, and to put the hat on, you need to put a stud there. It has printing like an eye patch so yeah nice printing on the hat um it fell down there give me a second and i gotcha just one second it's a little bit dusty down there so yeah and you could stick a plume in there if you want i won't do that next is Patrick, I like this Patrick because I get this nice little head thing with dots, eye patch, uh, shovel, treasure map, striped um, shirt which is double sided, and uh, you can see his belly button a little bit, and he has his mouth open, so yeah, that's cool. Um, here's what I um, his pants they're printed on like ripped jeans. But on the sides, they're just blank legs, so that's the only downside I have with him. And Spongebob, the only downside I have with him is uh, he doesn't really have any printing on the back. The only one with printing on the back in this set is the um, is Patrick, so yeah. Guess so. Um, uh, yeah, he did. Um, so here's the backs of them. Sorry I've been taking such a long time with the figures, so that base plate does not come with the set, so yeah. Now onto the little island thingy you get. Uh, you also get this cannon or, well, cannon if you may, but in lego.com it says it's a bubble blaster, and you can probably guess what these little blue things are supposed to be supposed to be little bubbles so I'll show you a little quick demonstration if I could um, I'm not really sure so I'll just try my best <sighs> this is gonna be a while so yeah, I don't have a tripod, I'm using an iPod. 
So, oh yeah. One second. Oh, frick. Oh, this is ridiculous. Um, hold on the little back plunger thingy. Son of a... This is ridiculous. Come on, just... You know what? It's not that big of a deal. Ah, where'd that piece go? Oh, there it is. Sorry. Really sorry about this. So, just fire's light. Um, yeah, probably. Just... Yeah, kind of fires, but I had to tip over. Oh, yeah. Sorry it took so long with the stupid little cannon. And, yeah, three little bubbles. Get this, like, little planky boardwalk. Little palm leaves. And uh, uh, some rock. And you just lift this up reveal the treasure which it's a bit hard to get out of there so so yeah I just just a standard parts of the Caribbean treasure chest with some gold stuff in it and yeah uh yeah it shows it in the back right there which I'm not really quite sure but it does and the shelter so yeah that is it with the island this is probably going to be like one of my longest reviews because of the stupid little cabin anyways now onto the ship itself uh get the sail which is dark green i mean green skull and um this is like one of the biggest printed on pieces i've ever seen so no stickers in this set so yeah Get this little helm thingy uh, that can tilt up and down, as you can see. Uh, the little sail pew thingy that turns. You can turn the sail, and the reason it's kind of bent. I'm not saying that you're stupid. Well, I'm not saying that any of you are stupid, but the the it's bent because it's supposed to be like it's blowing in the sail. Sorry. I'm kind of being a jerk now. Anyways, uh, here are the little round hole cannon thingies. Just a little mini cannon. Uh, you get a little, oh, little boardwalk. Uh, I mean, walking the plank. And you get some more little cannons and the feature on. And you get these windows that um, fold up. And on the, there's this like little fin on the back. And here are like the little ball thingies and the steering wheel. So I could take the flying Dutchman. Yarg! I'm terrible at pirates. Put them up there and make it like it's controlling the ship. Then here is SpongeBob. You could put him in the pew up here or the crow's nest. And he could be looking out and he could be driving. Well, I know that they're not on the thing, but in that one episode where they join him and yeah so uh yeah so uh, you know what how my pirates of the caribbean said i'm not gonna be like rating any set any more sets but i'm gonna rate this set but i'm a liar okay if you guys watched that video um this set is one of the best spongebob sets i have seen in a time but it's not the best one, but it's one of them. I like it. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. So, yeah, I'm getting close to the 10-minute mark. So, thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe, comment, and rate, and look out for more reviews. Okay, so, see ya.